All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to today's Friday live stream. I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can't hear me. Am I muted? Um, I, I'm trying something a little bit different. I had to finagle a little situation here where I could use two cameras at once because we're going to be talking about my Roku right here over my shoulder. So, uh, yeah, as I as I get going, let me know if I'm muted. Uh, hopefully I'm not. If you're joining, uh, if you're watching this later after the fact, um, I'm going to wait a few minutes before I announce the the giveaway winner and, and that sort of thing. So, um, so if you are joining this a little bit later, go ahead and skip ahead. Um, <laughs> but for now, let's chill out for just a few minutes. We'll let uh, let people join in who haven't yet. And um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just kick it for a minute. So Shoeb, hello. Uh, tell me if I'm saying that right. Shoeb Hassan, I'm, I'm trying my best, with, uh, but hello. Um, Zygology, one, two, three, hello. It's nice to see you. Um, if you're wondering why my video quality on, is a little bit worse, it's just because it's worse. I had to save the good camera for uh, for this one over here. So we're gonna be looking at the, uh, at the Roku a lot today. Uh, but we'll get there. Here's uh, hello, uh, Sylvia, and hello, George, and Deborah, and oh my goodness! All right, we're getting some of the regulars in here. So um, I'm going to try a little experiment. Tell me if um, you are still able to hear me if I do this. Okay, so I'm going to put this up. So this is just my video now. Let me know if you can still hear me. Um, Okay. Perfect. All right. Looks like we, we do have, I know it's so dim. It's the camera quality is bad. It, Tush Let's see. Tashaka does have this shirt. Yeah, that's true. It's an excellent shirt. I think I got it at Walmart or something like 10 years ago. So, <laughs> um, cool. We do have a winner for last week's giveaway. We'll wait for just a minute. Uh, but yeah, it is, uh, the, the video quality right now is a little bit dim because, um, I'm, so I rigged up my laptop uh, to do this, and then I used my good camera to look at the uh, to look at the Roku, so that uh, you know, because it was I tried the other way around, and this this camera was just a little too blurry to really be able to see the TV. So, anyway, today we are going to uh, talk about Roku apps. So I released a video earlier earlier this week. It's actually doing pretty well. I'm I'm happy with how it's doing. Um, it seems to be a, a pretty fun, popular video <laughs> where I, I deleted 14 apps off of my Roku. And today we're going to continue the quest to clean up my Roku. And I want everybody else's uh, um, input uh, in on this as well. So yeah, George, I'd love to make the exposure lighter, but uh, we work with what we've got. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I, don't, uh, I don't have that capability here uh, in this software, as far as I know. Um, Let's see, camera. Yeah, nope, I don't have the ability to do that. So, oh well, we get what we've got. Yeah, I mean, you can see me, you can hear me. It's okay. Um, so, all right, we've got a few people in here now. We've been going uh, a few minutes. And so let's go ahead and uh, announce the winner for last week's giveaway. Now, if you recall, go to the description uh, in YouTube, it's below you and, and Facebook, I think it's above you. You can go to the description and click on the link to the giveaways page. Uh, last week, it was the Eufy Cam 2 Pro, uh, which was, I, I think, a pretty sweet prize. That, that was a great giveaway. So thank you to Steve, who reviewed that product um, and had that, uh, that one to give away. Um, and the winner of that one was Joshua Sparkman. Joshua Sparkman, congratulations. Uh, you are the winner of the Eufy Cam 2 Pro. I hope Joshua is with us. Um, if you are, then watch your email. You'll be getting an email very soon about that. Um, if you're not, then I hope you're watching this later. And for the rest of you, uh, go to that page. There is a new giveaway happening already. It is for the Blink Outdoor Cam, uh, which is a it's a $90, $90 value. That's uh, not a bad camera, as, as I recall. It's another one that Steve, um, that Steve uh, reviewed for us. Steve does a ton of, uh, Steve, that's his other channel, Steve does. Steve does a ton of product reviews for us. And so he's just got this closet full of home security and smart home stuff to give away. Um, and I'm, I'm excited that we get to do that. Um, and so 
Uh, let's see. Um, all right. So yeah, go to the go to the giveaways page. Enter for the Blink Outdoor Cam. I think that's a fantastic one. Again, uh, now let's talk about today's topic. Uh, let's see. So like I said, we're going to be uh, talking about which Roku apps to delete. Virginia asks, do you know what other apps are going to be deleted? I do know a couple. Like, you know, I kind of scrolled through here when I was when I was doing the other video. And, and so I know of a couple that have got to go. Um, but no, I, I have not decided this ahead of time. This is going to be a collaborative project. Um, I want you all helping me out as I uh, delete these apps. So, uh, Virginia, I'm, I'm going to need your input. Um, okay, so George says, I would delete all the paid apps and cancel the subscriptions to declutter and get a lot of money back. You know, okay, so I'm not going to do that. But with all of the, the top 10 free Roku apps or free Fire TV apps or whatever, all those other um, videos that I do with the free services, I've really come to believe uh, if you like if you or your family, you don't really need to stay up to date with all the, the current shows on Prime Video or Disney Plus or whatever, you know, like I'm, I'm watching Loki, like so many people are. If you don't need that stuff and you really just use TV for a little bit of like background noise and entertainment, uh, you know, yeah, maybe watching the free movie now and then and you don't mind commercials, that sort of thing, um, then cord cutting can be not just cheap, but like literally zero dollars. You buy, you buy a little device, you know, thirty bucks, fifty bucks, whatever, um, and then you're, and then you don't sign up for anything else, and you can pay zero dollars for your TV experience. Pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, no, I'm I'm kind of with you to a certain extent. I'm not going to do that, but for somebody who does do that, absolutely valid. Um, so. <laughs> Let's see. Been rewatching the old. You're actually rewatching the old live streams. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, well, I'm glad they're getting better. I want to keep making them better and better. Uh, and today we'll we'll be a part of that. You know, doing doing a, a better dual screen setup than I've done before. Uh, but you know, I, I want to do some more stuff, getting music involved, and um, you know, having more uh, more fun collaborative stuff. But I, I'm glad that they're better than they once were. Um, <laughs> so, Hey, I'm not generous. It's reviews.org. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't buy these things, but thank the brand. Okay. So you can go to reviews.org bookmark that page. And so anytime you need uh, a review on your home devices or services, uh, you know, for mostly services, uh, but internet TV, um, cell phones, home security, smart home, uh, all that stuff is covered there at reviews.org. So if you're ever curious about which service is better than another in your area, um, then it's going to be an awesome place. So thank reviews.org and uh, please go go support the the uh, the website as well as the channel uh, by checking out what the writers do over there. Um, I'm just a lowly YouTuber, so um, and I, I I hope Joshua is happy with his prize also. <laughs> all right, so. Um, let's see. Oh, psychotic, psychotic shine. That's, I, I don't know what to make of that username. I kind of like it, but I don't know what it means. Um, says you're going to keep the hidden gems, right? Yes, I am going to keep the hidden gems. I'm going to keep, well, oh, I see what you're saying. Am I going to keep the hidden gems apps on here? It depends. Um, if I, so when I do the hidden gems videos, I will, uh, find something that looks cool. I'll download it. And if it is cool and I use it for a couple of days and I still think it's cool, it goes on the Hidden Gems video. Um, but that doesn't mean I kept using it necessarily. Um, you know, some, sometimes things just get overtaken by another free app or, you know, HBO Max just becomes my go-to and I stop logging into other stuff. So if it's been two, three, six months since I've logged into something, even if it was on one of my Hidden Gems videos, it's on the chopping block potentially, and we'll talk about those. Um, but that being said, whatever I delete here today doesn't mean it can't come back. Uh, so if I do another Hidden Gems video later, uh, or you know whatever, a top 10 free channels or what have you, um, many of these things could come back. 
Um, and it's often nice to do it that way if I can go and figure out that, um, oh, uh, that, that this app has changed a lot. Like Pluto TV, I did my review on Pluto TV maybe a month ago or so. And um, I was blown away because I hadn't used Pluto TV in like two years. And so I turned on Pluto TV again and it was like mind blowing. It was so much better than it used to be. So, um, so, but that's a great question. That's a great question. Should we get to it? Um, Frayden, hello, glad you made it. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Scott, good luck at your meeting. Um, uh, never forgive you if you delete Pluto. I don't, I, I don't think that one will be going anywhere. So let's do it. All right, let's, let's pull up our, screen here. All right. So I've got my Roku. This is going to be fun. Um, all right. Let's, let's starting at the top. Okay. So this is, I, I do have it arranged for the first like three or four rows. I, I do have it arranged roughly um, with the, the amount that I or my family use them. So Netflix, Disney Plus, and HBO Max are definitely our top three. Uh, during the summer months, I use MLB TV a lot. Um, as you can see, I'm a Mariners fan. And so I, um, so yeah, I, I watch the Mariners most days. Hulu, Prime Video, they're not going anywhere. Peacock, Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus, they're not going anywhere. Um, and now we get to the, the first thing that I did in the video that I re released earlier this week, and that is the music apps. I had Pandora uh, in addition to Spotify and iHeartRadio, and I nixed Pandora. Pandora is gone. Um, uh, iHeartRadio, I decided to keep that one, but honestly, like I haven't used that in a long time, but I have come across a situation where I can't, uh, like there's a, if I'm trying to watch a baseball game or, you know, I don't know, a basketball game or something like that, and there's a TV blackout and I can't watch it for some reason, I want to get the, the radio feed. And, uh, you know, you can do that on your computer, you can do that on your phone, whatever, but sometimes I just want it over my shoulder. So the iHeartRadio app I keep for literally just for the radio stations that are on there, um, but they're they're not all, always on there. So, oh, this is a great question. Um, Virginia says, uh, how can you rearrange the apps on a Roku? The fantastic question. So thank you for asking that. Um, you know what, I'm gonna actually, let's, let's do this with YouTube. Um, because that's not going anywhere, obviously. Uh, okay, so on my Roku, here, let's blow me up a little bit. On my Roku remote, there is a star button right here, that star key, okay? So now I'll pull this back over. I hit that star button, and it pulls up a uh, menu of options. I don't know how clear that is for you guys, so I apologize, but right up here, it says move channel. So I click on that, and now you'll see there are arrows around that app. And now I can just use the arrow keys on my remote to move it around wherever I want. You can see it adjusts the position of the other ones and shifts them all back. Uh, so I want this one ahead of, you know what? I actually use this more than, more than Peacock. Yeah, I use YouTube more than that. So let's go ahead and hit that one. Boom, there you go. So I just hit my OK button at the middle when I'm done and it uh, places it right where I want it. So fantastic question. Thank you, Virginia. Um, all right, so uh, now let's, so, whoop, I'm gone. <laughs> all right, so Richie says, great choice of content. As I was saying, oh, thank you, Richie. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, um, it's, uh, this is totally personal preference. If somebody, so I, you know, I spend, between all those apps. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see, that's uh, 13 bucks a month, eight, that's $21, 15 makes it 36. Uh, we won't count MLB for now. Hulu makes it 42. Prime Video kind of counts and kind of doesn't because I just signed up for Prime. So uh, with the other ones, uh, I do the free version of that right now. Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus. Yeah, I probably spend like 50 bucks a month on TV. And that's, for me, that's okay. I mean, part of my part of my job is to, uh, you know, to to provide reviews of these things and to stay current. And so, I'm willing to pay fifty bucks a month. That might be too much for somebody else. Um, and as I was saying earlier, somebody might decide they want to go completely free. And if they do that, they can totally do that. And we're going to get to some of those apps in a moment. But uh, yeah, I 
I, I like where I'm at. Um, so, you know, MLB is an annual expenditure and yeah, I, I can count it, but I don't really. Okay, so we're done with the music apps. Like I said, Pluto is not going anywhere. Plex, if you missed my Plex review, I wish I had a, an, an easy link to it right now, but um, uh, I did my Plex review, really liked Plex. Um, I'm still in the process of building out my Plex server, but that one's not going anywhere. The Roku channel, that one's too interesting to ditch. The Roku channel is really interesting. Just, it, you know, even if I don't log into it that often, um, I still I still like keeping an eye on it. Um, Tubi, Tubi and Pluto, I probably use similarly, you know, as, as far as amount of time. FilmRise, I don't use very often. That one, honestly, that one could probably go. Gosh, when was the last time I actually used FilmRise? That's a great question. All right, who uses FilmRise? Give me, uh, you know, a show of hands. Use your emojis on there. Let me know if you still use FilmRise or if I should give this one the axe. If you're unfamiliar with FilmRise, it is kind of a, a Tubi uh, imitator. I, I guess I, it's hard to say because it is a pretty big app. You know, Tubi was just the first one. So, you know, it's easy to call something a Tubi imitator. But FilmRise, free movies and TV. This one is really interesting. Um just because of the genres that they put out there. Uh, let's see, Frayden says, used it, but it's been a few weeks. Virginia uses FilmRise Horror. Okay, uh, I don't use FilmRise. Um, so let's see, <laughs> I, I uh, sympathize with that. Oh boy, well, I'll tell you what, if this is a thing, if it's not gonna actually load up, then, uh, <laughs> then it definitely goes. FilmRise, can we actually get it to work? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it looks like it might be going this time. Anyway, uh, Joel says, no, thumbs down. I used to use FilmRise. Has the old Batman TV show. You know what? Uh, is it Shaffin? That is a fantastic reason <laughs> to use FilmRise. Uh, the old Batman TV show is great. But So, yeah, this one's interesting because if you go all the way down, and this will take a little while. Let's see if we can get all the way down to the bottom. Da -da -da -da. If you're unfamiliar with FilmRise, it, like I said, it operates kind of like Tubi. This is free movies and TV shows that are commercial supported. Um, now let's see if I can find, oh, where, come on. Oh, it used to be at the very bottom. If, if this, if what I'm looking for is no longer easy to find, then it's, it's gone a hundred percent. Um, Okay, so what it used to do, it used to have this uh, this horizontal uh, bar of options for the different film rises. Uh, so so um, who was it saying earlier that they use film rise horror? Um, so are there are all these different film rise apps. Oh, they got rid of it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. But for now, we're going to go ahead and delete it. So... If you're wondering how I'm going to delete this, uh, this is very similar to what I just showed you earlier on how to um, how to move an app. You're going to use this star key right here, um, and oops, go to FilmRise, hit the star key, and right under Move Channel, there's Remove Channel. So we hit that and remove. And now it is gone. Goodbye, FilmRise. Okay, so I think, is that our first one today? That's our first one that we deleted. So goodbye, FilmRise. Now let me show you what I meant about FilmRise and why it is, or it potentially is kind of cool. Uh, if we go to streaming channels, let's go to search channels, film. Okay, cool. So we've got FilmRise British TV. This is the regular Film Rise app. Film Rise Kids, Film Rise Classic, Horror, Western, Sci-Fi. This is cool, where you can get an entire app of free content, commercial supported content that is uh, sorted by genre. So you know, you log into Netflix or whatever, and you're always, you know, you're always scrolling down to the horror section, or you're you're going to true crime, and you're just like, why do I have to wade through all this other stuff? FilmRise does do something pretty cool where they build an entire app just around that genre, um, and I do like that quite a bit. 
Um, but I haven't used it enough to, you know, to download any of those, but I, I love that concept. Okay, so that was Film Rise. What do we got next? Uh, bon Appetit, I decided to keep. I do like the recipes. Um, I, I enjoy cooking and baking um, in my downtime every once in a while. And so, you know, it's cool to see somebody actually do what you're trying to do. So I like Bon Appetit. News on, we'll keep. That's local news. Um, that nationwide local news. I love this one because, you know, I can keep track of what's happening locally around the country. A lot of times if something if something makes national news, it, uh, well, let me put it this way. I, uh, I think local news reporters do a better job reporting the news oftentimes than the national ones do. So I like that one, we'll leave it. Vivo music videos, keep it. YouTube TV, um, I am not currently subscribed to YouTube TV. I think reviews.org is, but I'm not currently using it on this TV. Uh, but I'm not going to get rid of it until I know I can get it back, if that makes sense. So if you recall a while ago, um, YouTube TV and Roku, or I, I guess Google and Roku got into a spat and YouTube TV disappeared from the uh, from the Roku channel, uh, you know, downloadable channels, whatever. Um, and until they bring that back, I'm not going to delete that. Does that make sense? You know, I, I want to be sure I can have it. Right now, you can still access YouTube TV through the YouTube app on your Roku device. So they've built a work in, or workaround in there. I'm not sure if that's going to be permanent. We'll see. But for now, we're going to leave that one just in case. Lego channel, that's too cool. My kids do use that sometimes. NASA, NASA. I love this channel, but I never log into it, you guys. Oh, does it stay or go? Stay or go? I, I need, I need, uh, I need, yeah. I'm going to need you guys to let me know. Uh, Dust, I do use every once in a while. So that's science fiction. This is space stuff. Um, and should I, should I keep them? Uh, let's see, Scott. Oh, Psychotic Shine says I, I passed the row. Okay, well, if it's my mistake, if I passed it. Um, still, I, I hadn't logged into Film Rise in a long, long time. Let's see. We've got to go. We've got to stay, stay, stay. NASA can go, says Scott. Oh, boy. If it was a SpaceX channel, maybe you'd keep it, right? <laughs> stay. My gut says stay. Um, because even though I don't use it very often, I do use it every once in a while when there's something cool happening. And that, that does happen, you know, a few times a year. Uh, where NASA, you know, they're landing a rover or they're, you know, um, they're, oh, the, you know, okay. Oh, you know what? Go use YouTube. That's not, that is not unreasonable, Joe. Dang it. Stop making sense. Okay. That's, that's, that's not what we're here for. We're not here to make sense. Come on. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's the thing. Yeah. NASA can stay. I like it. I like dust too. I like both these. We'll let them stay for now. Baby Boomer TV, that's staying. CWC, that's going to go. Um, I just, I am not the target demo for this, you guys, the, the demographic. Uh, this is CW content, CW shows, the channel itself, everything about it is kind of built around teenagers and young adults. And I just never find myself watching anything on there. So this one's going to go. Um, but, you know, like I was saying on the, the video from earlier this week, my decision to remove a lot of these isn't about the quality of the app. It's, you know, like I said with this, oh, whoops, let me get rid of that. Like I said with uh, with this one, it's not that it's not that it's bad content. I'm just not the target market for that. So, so I never used it. I never really watched it. Court TV, very similar. So let's see, Court TV is pretty good for my needs. Um, I think it's a really cool channel, uh, but it doesn't, yeah, I, I never use it. You know, this whole row, Court TV, Fossum, and The Movie House. The Movie House, it's, this, this one I might actually keep. Okay, I am going to get rid of Court TV. Let's see, remove channel. Sorry, Court TV. And sorry, Fossum. Uh, remove channel. Fun fact, by the way, um, I wonder if we can go if we can go see it. Let's, let's take Fossum, for instance. I just took that one off. We're going to come back to the movie house in just a moment. Let's go to Pluto. 
And let me show you something on here. Um, I think it's I think it's on here. I might have been seeing it on. Oh, what was I reviewing? Oh, geez. Oh, that was loud. Okay. <laughs> Got our anime. All right. So if we go. No, it wasn't this one. What was I reviewing? Oh, it was Sling. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Sling for just a second. Um, oh, man. PlayStation View. Somebody mentioned PlayStation View. What is Movie House? Sylvia, we're going to get there in just a moment. First, let's see. What did I do with Sling? I think it's way down here somewhere. Uh, did I pass it? Sling, Sling, Sling. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't that far. Okay, so we're going to load up Sling TV. Oh, that's true. Joel, I could just use my voice command. Hey, uh, I use it for search a lot, but I don't use it for commands a lot. But that's 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 my <laughs> problem. <laughs> um, all right. So, oh, boy. Um, bring back Lowcast. They'll be in your town soon. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. They've been talking about it for a long time. I'm in the Salt Lake market. Um, I, I don't imagine it's high. I think it's like the number 30 somewhere. I think we're last time I looked 10 years ago, we're like the 29th or 30th largest market in the U S it's not exactly, uh, a, a, a big priority for most of these apps like this. Um, okay. So on sling, let's go to sling. If I go to the guide, um, let's go, let's go channel. Come on. Oh, no, I do want the grid. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if I go all the way down to the bottom of Sling, and uh, if, if you watched my Sling review, you might have seen this, but we're going past all the orange channels, all the blue channels, and getting down to the very bottom here, and then we get into some interesting stuff. So right here, it says, I, I, know, I, I know it's hard for you, to, you guys to read, I apologize. It says Sling Orange ends here. And then after that, we've got ABC News, CBS News, Newsy, um, ET Live, AMC Thrillers. Uh, so there are all these channels on here that you would normally see on something like, uh, like, like a Pluto TV, that sort of thing. Um, so these kind of free channels are very, very cheap channels for them to put on here. So if I go all the way down here, boom, right there, that is Fossum, which I just deleted. Uh, so I deleted the, uh, the app. Uh, if I keep coming down, oh, hey, there's Dust. So, oh, I don't know why. Yeah, Dust has a channel, a live channel that they sell to these providers. Um, if I keep coming down, there's Bon Appetit. There's, uh, so, if you're noticing a theme, it's a lot of the channels that I have on my Roku or the apps I have on my Roku exist as live channels here. Um, let's see, da, da, da. Okay, cool. Here we go. Film Rise. Discovery, Gravitas Movies, that's another app you can get. Kabillion, that's a uh, kids content app that I just deleted on this video this week. Um, so, okay, it looks like I thought they had um, Fossum. It looks like they do have a live channel, but then right here it says, see all available content for FilmRise. So I can go to FilmRise and boom, there's pretty much, you've got FilmRise right here on your Sling TV app. Which I think is pretty cool. If I uh, if I come up here, I can go to Gravitas Movies, Kabillion, ESPN On Demand, a, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's that is going to play into some of my decisions as well. Is you know, I don't necessarily need the app. If somebody was saying, um, you know, don't don't delete the or go ahead and delete the NASA channel because you can just watch it on YouTube, and that's kind of this the same kind of thing. Um, if you're a Sling TV user or whatever, look around on your channels and see if they if they uh, integrate some of these apps into their on-demand stuff. Um, okay, so um, Sylvia asked, "What is Movie House? Movie House, the Movie House is the ultimate in cheap. Uh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it: terrible B movie content. Um, so." <laughs> Uh, Ethan Bortnick and Lacey Chabert in Anything is Possible. Um, you've got just just bad content. The the thumbnails. I don't know if you probably can't really tell the uh, the quality of the just the thumbnails is terrible. 
Um, but some of the stuff they have on here is it's it's too good. Like it's if you love picture like um you know big Hollywood tentpole productions, and then you've got like indie movies, and then you've got like Hallmark movies, and then you've got stuff that's like a, a few rungs below that. And like all of these things are valid. If you love Hallmark movies, I'm not saying that it's like, it's like, I don't know, quality doesn't, <laughs> filming quality or script quality doesn't necessarily equal entertainment quality. That's not what I'm saying. And that's kind of the point here is like the entertainment value on this is pretty high. Uh, but I, I, it's true. I never use it. But I'm, I'm happy to tell you all about it in case you think it might be interesting. But you know what? I, I never use it. So remove channel. Sorry, Movie House. And QVC and HSN, I think it's fantastic that those things exist. So you don't have to subscribe to cable to then shop on TV. <laughs> you can just use it here. But I do not shop on TV. So remove. We're Now we're getting into the stuff where I'm making quick decisions. PBS Kids is staying... The CW is going. Um, I don't need it. And then, okay, so now we're getting into, somebody else had um, a question about what it, please don't delete Pluto. I did not delete Pluto, don't worry. Let's see. Um, somebody was asking about another, oh yeah, this one. Okay, what is the Dolby channel? So there are a few things like this. So we've got Roku Media Player, 4K Spotlight, and Dolby. And same thing, Roku Tips and Tricks, I'm going to keep that actually. But these ones are basically just like show-off channels for Roku. So um, let's see if we log into Roku. Oh, no, the, sorry, I'm misunderstanding. This, this is a different thing. Roku Media Player. Uh, where you can load your files into the Roku app. So it, it gets a bit of a Pluto TV kind of thing. Um, I don't find it as effective as Pluto TV. Um, and so, yeah, so I don't use it. So in fact, yeah, that one will go. So you can load your own stuff in there and watch it on the Roku media player. Not a bad idea. Let's see if I can get that to, come on, can we, uh, can we look again? Oh boy, it's like super blurry now. Let's see if I can get it to refocus. No, okay. We're gonna. Wait, okay, this is uh, this is how we uh, this is how we are up. There we go. Hey, it worked. What do you think, everybody? There we go. It worked. So yeah, yeah. Should I keep it? I might. You know what? I want. I might want to give that one another shot. It's been a couple years since I tried it, so I might want to give it a shot. The 4K spotlight. That is a show-off channel. So it's like you bought a 4K Roku TV. Let's show you what it can do. Um, and so it'll give you basically like a three minute trailer. Uh, and that's that's the entire streaming channel is a three minute trailer. Same thing with Dolby, don't care. Dolby, well, no, Dolby Access, hang on. Um, if I go into Dolby Access, I need to make sure this isn't like a settings. Yeah, this is another show off channel. Um, we don't need it. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't something where I could change any settings. Remove. Roku tips and tricks will keep uh, because anytime they roll out a new um, uh, a new feature, you know something like that, they will uh, tell you about it in the Roku tips and tricks. Um, and so, you know, it's nothing. There is no substitute for going and checking things out yourself. But it is good to see kind of what Roku wants you to know about their features. So, we'll keep that. Keep Sling. Goodbye, Nick Jr. Uh, my kids don't use it. I certainly don't use it. So we're gonna remove that channel. Um, oh, and then this one, I will never, I will never ever delete this channel. This is, it says PlayStation View is no longer available. Click for alternative ways to watch. I'm never gonna click on it, <laughs> but I did, I, I loved uh, PlayStation View um, it, to a, it, it, to a certain extent, I loved where PlayStation View fit in the uh, the streaming ecosystem a couple of years ago. Uh, one of the most fun videos I ever did was the funeral that I threw for PlayStation View. 
<laughs> that was fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to delete that just for pure nostalgic reasons. Um, and I, I make no apologies. BritBox, uh, somebody said, I'm excited for you to do BritBox. I, I don't know where that, uh, uh, where that one was, but somebody said, I'm excited for you to review BritBox. And me too. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, reviewed it yet, but I plan to. And so, yeah, I'm not going to delete that. The ESPN app, I think I will delete this one just because I, because I don't have a cable provider. I can't log in here and use it. Um, I think I was piggybacking off of my parents' uh, cable subscription for a while, but then I convinced them to cut the cord. And so, uh, so yeah, now I, I really can't log in there. <laughs> That's okay, because I've got Sling TV, so I don't need it. Uh, BYU TV, I don't, I don't watch very often. They do have a few funny shows. Uh, they, like Studio C is funny. They've got some... Uh, they've got some decent TV, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really need that one at this point. Fubo TV will stay. Um, what happened to? Oh gosh, what happened to PS View? Oh boy. So sorry. The uh, the the short of it. Here's our PS View app. Oh, pour pour one out for PS View. Uh, PlayStation or Sony, I guess, ran a streaming app, um, and then they decided that you know what. We're not really in the business of of uh, distributing TV, and so they just got out of it and said, "Yeah, we're just going to build the PS5." So this was a couple of years ago. Um, could I log into Sling on the ESPN app? That's a good question. Um, but it, in my mind, I'm like, "Well, I've got Sling right here." I, yeah, and there's some on-demand stuff, but to be honest, I I just never I never used it. Um, so possibly I bring it back when it's time for uh, college football. I love college football. And uh, until the NCAA puts out their own streaming app where I can, you know, similar to MLB TV or NHL TV or whatever, uh, when I can do that for college football, forget about it. I'm all done with everything else. Um, but yeah, I may end up bringing the ESPN app back when it's time for college football. Um all right, but that was a good question. Very good question. Let's see. I heard there. I heard there's an HBO Renew deal. You get as long as you remain with them. I haven't heard that. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Frayden's been watching for a while. Yeah, I feel like this has been like gosh, three years now. Two, three years. Um, yeah, I, I was trying to get him to cut the cord for a while, and we we did. Uh, we did cut the cord for my parents, but the the thing was, it was it was more of a hassle than you would think. For me, it was a really easy decision. I uh, when I cut the cord, I was living in a little uh, two bedroom apartment with uh, my wife and one child, and we had a single TV in the living room, and I, I had the Roku on it, um, but we also had cable piping in, uh, and. So when I cut the cord, I just, okay, fine. I turned on the Roku. I, you know, uh, used that to watch all my stuff. And it wasn't a problem with my parents. The problem came in that um, they have one, two, three, four TVs that they use pretty actively. Uh, kitchen, bedroom, family room, and then my dad's office has a TV. And so I convinced them to cut the cord and didn't think, oh gosh, they're gonna need to get set up with, uh, I, they're on fire TV. Like they need a fire TV in every single room and now I gotta get this set up and make sure they're logged in on every device. Um, and so it was a, it was a whole ordeal. Um, and in their case, like, you know, my parents are close to retirement. They've got money, <laughs> you know, they're not rich, but, uh, but they, they're comfortable. And um, it wasn't that big a burden for them to spend whatever they were spending on their internet plus TV package. And so in a way, I actually kind of regret convincing them to cut the cord uh, because they had the system they liked and it, it still worked and it still does work, you know, if they still had it. Um, you know, I, I think cable and satellite are going to go away after a few more years, but they, you know, they could have used that for a while. I don't really regret it, but I almost kind of regret it. 
Um, Scott, I hope I caught this before you left, but goodbye. It was nice to have you. <laughs> uh, oh, and good luck in the meeting. Uh, okay. I always said this uh, regarding PlayStation View. If they just called it Sony View, it would have had triple the amount of subscribers. 100% terrible naming. And it wasn't too late. They could have changed it at any time. I mean, how many rebrands did, uh, did AT&T do with their DirecTV Now and AT&T TV Now and at and whatever, I, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of rebrands there. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did you need a PlayStation to use it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Um, uh, yeah. All right, let's get back to it. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything important. Um, Okay, so where were we? Uh, oh yeah, okay, so other channels, uh, so I, I did this with cable channels before. These network, um, oh, by the way, Fubo is staying. Okay, that's settled. ABC um, is a network channel, it's not a cable channel, right? Oh gosh, now it's, I gotta do my, is it gonna, okay, I, th I think that's more or less uh, in focus. So this one, because it is a uh, network, are they gonna let me watch stuff? They've got locks on these. What does that mean? I never log in here because uh, I never watch network TV anymore. But with these, it looks like you can watch some stuff, but what does this lock mean? Okay, I wanna watch, aha, sign into your TV provider. That's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? This is a network, This uh, it's network TV. I All I need to do is use the the uh, antenna behind the TV that you can't see. So no, I am not going to sign into my TV provider just to use this app. If you have one, then great, go ahead and use the ABC app. But um, if you're like me, forget that. That's ridiculous. That's true, NBC and CBS, uh, oh, whoops, where was it? They do have a lot of free content that you don't need to log in for. I know, I know, you're absolutely right but I'm feeling spiteful at the moment, George. Okay, I'm feeling spiteful. Oh, whoops, wrong button. <laughs> it's gotta go. Um, all right, so ABC, I just locking their content, come on. I wonder if there's some kind of distribution deal that makes them do that. Um, so yeah. So ABC gives you barely anything without a lock, yeah, yeah. You know, Mark, I agree. You say that's silly? I agree, that is silly. That's why it's gone. Okay, what do we got next? Comedy Central, Cartoon Network. Um, these are gonna be very similar uh, to those cable channels and I don't use them. So they're out of here. Again, great content, nothing, like I have nothing wrong with the content, but I can get a lot of what I enjoy on those channels elsewhere. So I do not need these apps. PBS is staying, Adult Swim is going, although Adult Swim is pretty good. Um, as far as, you know, not locking all their content, Adult Swim does a little bit better, I think, than most of the ones that I've, uh, that I've looked at. But uh, let's see, CBS News, I will, yeah, that's gonna go. CBS News, because like somebody said earlier, with a lot of these, you can uh, you can watch their live feeds on YouTube and their on-demand clips and all that stuff. Um, yeah, Adult Swim has a lot of free unlock content. I love it. Yeah, no, it, it's it is good content, and they do a better job than most at unlocking it. I just don't, you know, kind of like um, what was it, CW and CWC? Like I'm just I the type of humor on Adult Swim not not my thing. Most of the time, yeah, there's some stuff that I like, but for the most part, not my thing. Uh, but yeah, CBS News, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that just because, yeah, I can always just pull it up on YouTube. Uh, so let's let's keep decluttering. Canopy, we're keeping. AT&T TV, we're keeping. Um, but that's not for personal reasons, that's for review reasons, just because that's one of those apps I, I feel like I really need to keep an eye on. Um, but we are gonna take NBC off, similar to ABC. Apple TV, this one we are keeping, but instead of removing the channel, we're moving the channel. I don't know how it made it all the way down here, but we're moving Apple TV up because I actually do use this one quite a bit. We're gonna move this 
right up here by YouTube and under Hulu. So this is uh, Apple TV Plus, essentially. This is where you go to watch Apple TV Plus on your Roku. Um, and and that one is staying. I, I hope that Apple TV Plus survives. Um, if you like, I, I'm, I'm begging you, I'm, I'm not literally on my knees, but I'm figuratively on my knees begging you to give Apple TV plus a chance. If you haven't yet, um, they have amazing content, extremely well produced, uh, very well written and acted and you know, all that stuff. Um, it's very good. And, um, I, I worry for the future of Apple TV Plus if they don't see uh, you know enough renewals now that they're getting rid of the the free trials that they gave out like candy. Um, but uh, at least we'll get season two of Ted Lasso, and that'll that'll have to do for now, I guess. Okay, where were we? At let's see, Haystack is staying. Spectrum. I don't know why in the world I have Spectrum on here. Spectrum doesn't even exist in my zip code. Uh, so we're getting rid of Spectrum. Um, Philo is staying. HGTV Go is going. Go, HGTV Go. All right. NFL uh, Sunday Ticket. Oh, this... Uh, I don't have a provider that gives me access to it. It's... If you don't know NFL Sunday Ticket, if you've never used it, but you like football, shame on you. It's amazing. Check out NFL Sunday Ticket if you get a chance. I don't know if it's worth, you know, a two-year contract with, uh, I think it's DirecTV. But uh, never, nevertheless, it is really cool. But I don't use it on my Roku. So, uh, so yeah, that one's cool. Virginia, let's see. Um, you use Apple TV. Oh, Apple TV Plus a lot. Well, good for you. I'm glad. And keep using it. Um, Terry Ann, very nice to see you. Hello, everyone. Everyone say hello to Terry Ann, I suppose. I, I guess that's how we're running the live streams these days. Everyone say hello to Terry Ann. Um, let's see. Uh, Google has removed Google Play movies and TV. That content is now available elsewhere. I don't have the same sentimental attachment to that little uh, tile that I do to the PlayStation View one. <laughs> so I can go ahead and delete that. Um, and then we get into Roku getting started. I, you know, I'm pretty sure I have a good handle on how to get started on my Roku at this point. So I'm going to get rid of that. Roku cinematic sound. Remove. That's another show off channel. We don't need it. Nick. Remove. We're really flying through this now, you guys. Um, and now, okay. Hot star and Eros now. Um, these are both uh, Indian streaming apps. Okay, so Hotstar is the probably the more well-known, uh, and Eros Now is less well-known, but both of them are basically Indian TV shows and movies, this, uh, like Indian Netflix, think of it that way, um, Hotstar, uh, which is, I think, owned by Disney, and so that's where, like, in India, it's called Hotstar Disney Plus. Like that's the app, it's kind of a combined thing. Anyway, so I did a, a review of Hotstar and really enjoyed it um, a lot actually. Uh, I did not renew my subscription, but I may at some point. Eros Now I decided was not worth um, the subscription. So that one will go, but I will keep Hotstar. I kind of, I want the reminder at some point like, hey, you enjoyed this content for like a month um, and I'm sure I would enjoy it again. So we're going to keep Hotstar on there. Uh, Zoom, what's that? Kids content or uh, animated content. Zoom, let's find out. Obviously, I haven't used it in a long time. It's welcoming me. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this? I have never, oh my gosh. I've never seen that before. Oh boy, that is, that is... Oh, meant for a mouse. Not okay. So yeah, it looks like it is kids' content. Um, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, oh gosh. No. Yeah, that one's out of here. I don't use it. My kids don't use it. Uh, okay. Remove channel. All right. Now we're getting into the kind of the last stuff here. You know what? Let's go from the bottom up. Do anime stuff. 
Um, okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, I do miss Google Play Movies because I bought a lot of movies on it. I, I, if I recall, it's not that it's gone. It's that it went somewhere else. Is it on YouTube now? I think you can access your purchases on YouTube, uh, on the YouTube app, if I recall correctly. So your purchases are not gone. Um, let's see. Do I also use the Roku app like you do? Uh, yeah, I do. Not as much as I always think I'm going to. Every time I log in, I'm like, oh, this is sweet. The Roku app is amazing. And then I don't go back to it. But I am very interested in it. I'm interested to see what happens with the Quibi content that they bought. Um, they've already had more views on that stuff than Quibi had in six months. And it took them like two weeks to get there. Um, Afraid, yes, see, I didn't even know we could get Hotstar in the States. Yes, you can. And it's amazing. It really is. Um, I don't use it enough to to spend, you know, to, to put a monthly budget behind it. But every once in a while, I think I will go back and, and uh, re-up my subscription, use it for a month, and then uh, go back to the other stuff. Um, that's, that's what I said. Why a cursor? It's out of here. That's dumb. So, okay, it looks like... Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can get them on your Google TV, but it looks like, uh, yeah, it's on YouTube as well. I was right. I, what, what am I saying? What am I saying? I'm always right. Right? Okay. Um, uh, huh, huh, huh. Do I have ESPN Plus? Uh, you know, I think I I do. Why is it not on here? I got the, I got the, uh, the bundle deal. I just... Um, uh, I used to use, oh, that's right. I, when I signed up for that, it was, I was using my Google, uh, my Chromecast, my new Chromecast with Google TV. I was using that as my daily driver. So it's on that one. I never did download it on my Roku. Um, but, uh, yeah, I probably should at some point. Okay. Let's do, um, anime stuff. Retro crush is free anime and it's old anime. I mean, it's called retro crush for a reason. So a lot of stuff from the eighties and nineties, uh, which I think is fun. Funimation goes, um, High Dive goes, and Crunchyroll goes. Um, the only one that I think I will keep is Verve because it has High Dive and Crunchyroll within it. And um, and I, I don't watch enough anime to justify um, subscribing. So it's not because I don't like Funimation. It's not, you know, because I like subs over dubs or, you know, the other way around or whatever. Um, it's just because... Uh, you can get more through Verve and it includes some other stuff as well. So, you know, it, we were talking about Adult Swim before that type of thing, you know, if you like uh, Rooster Teeth or uh, whatever, it's not just anime content. It's got some other stuff on there, but cr because Crunchyroll and High Dive are included in Verve, I can get rid of those um, and just leave myself with two apps for anime. So we'll leave Retro Crush and Verve. I don't know why IMDb TV is all the way down here. Uh, we're not removing that one. We're moving that one. That one gets used a bit more. Uh, not not that much. Not that much. <laughs> it gets used probably around Lego channel levels. So we'll put it there. Okay. Going back down to the bottom, what do we got? Smithsonian Channel. I do not subscribe anymore to the Smithsonian Channel, so it's gone. But it is it is cool. Um, let's see. Oh boy, we got that. There's a there's a general question right there. Is it good to buy a Roku TV? Well, that depends, uh, Jana. It depends on uh, you know whether you use Roku as your daily driver. I will say this. Um, I, I don't think you guys can see them. You, you kind of, you can kind of see it right over there. My Roku speakers. I've got Roku speakers. You can get a Roku soundbar. You can get a Roku subwoofer, um, and they're all very good quality. Uh, really, really good sound systems that you can get with it. But the only problem is that you can only use those with a Roku smart TV, and so. I don't care for that, where I now I kind of feel locked in, like I need to have this Roku TV where I wouldn't mind trying something else for a while. But um, uh, but yeah, now that now that I feel kind of locked in, that's a that's a downside. But uh, I don't know. I, I've got some I think I've got some, uh, a Roku TV. Um, 
review somewhere on the channel. All right, Bluetooth. Literally, if you click on this one, the entire app is this. It says, oh, it's not even working now. It says, if you want to hook up a Bluetooth speaker or something, go to the menu and set it up. <laughs> That's all it says. Uh, oh, okay, wow. Um, so this... I, I guess they have an app to run your Bluetooth. I don't know. I don't know how that works technically speaking, but I cannot remove this, which is interesting. But let's see if it works this time. Then, yeah, when you log in, it just says go to the settings to set up Bluetooth. Okay, <laughs> great. Thanks for the help. Aquatic Life was a. Uh, I was I was looking at some uh, screensavers before, um, but I'm not using them. So they're out of here. Shutter is definitely staying. Shutter is very cool. If you're a horror movie person, I'm not a big horror movie person, but I do enjoy them every uh, every now and then. Uh, Shutter will stay. Um, now we get into oh gosh, okay. But Screenbox is like low tier B movie horror stuff, um, which I think is a lot of fun and very cool, but doesn't need to stay because I uh, it's like five bucks a month or something like that. And I didn't want to keep paying that. Uh, Hoopla, and it will stay with Canopy. The Criterion channel. It, you ever see that episode of Modern Family where the mom and dad are like, they're sad that they're not as sophisticated as the parents of the, you know, their their kid's classmate? Criterion channel makes me feel that way. I was subscribed to it for a while. It's great. Um, and it made me feel high class. But, <laughs> but I, I'm not subscribed anymore. I don't see myself doing it anytime soon. Uh, so it's going to go. <laughs> uh, Fandor, similar to some of the other free ones that we saw. That one's going to go. Mubi and Indie, uh, IndieFlix is definitely going. Mubi is probably going. Um, you can go watch some of my top 10 free uh, channels, top 10 hidden gems channels to see more about these ones. Um, but yeah, they'll go. So I think we're if we're not done, we're very close. Oh, hey, I do have another FilmRise on here, FilmRise Indie. I think I downloaded that one just as a um, as an illustration for one of the videos I did, uh, where you can get the different uh, the FilmRise apps that have different um, genres that are devoted to a single genre. Newsy um, is was it Newsy that just got rid of their? I thought they got rid of their. Um, Oh no, they got rid of their their live feed. They were selling a live feed to some channels. Um, they got rid of that, but you can still go onto the app and watch on-demand content. Uh, I used Tableau for a while. I don't now. Um, so it's gone and we're done. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're done. Okay, so now I, I do want to point this out. Uh, if you look up at the very top, again, I, I don't think you can see that. That's going to be too blurry. It says seven the, uh, out of 52 items. When I started the video, when I did that video, published it earlier this week, um, I had nine, or sorry, I had a hundred and, a hundred and eight apps on my Roku. 108 apps. Then I deleted 14 of them for that video. And now, we're down to 52. So this week I have now deleted 56 apps off of my Roku that I wasn't using. This was very productive. This is my favorite kind of live stream, you guys, uh, where not only did we have some fun and answer some questions, but uh, <laughs> it's a good call, George. Um, not only did we have some fun, not only did we get some fun interaction going, but man, I was productive. I just deleted 56 apps off my Roku. Um, and uh, yeah, so now here we go. It used to take me a while to scroll through this and now I can do it real quickly. So even, you know, some of these ones down here at the bottom, um, uh, you know, whether it's Canopy, Hotstar we talked about, Bluetooth I can't use, that's not a thing, um, Hoopla, Haystack. I don't use these very often, but I'm okay keeping some of them because my uh, because my Roku is just so much less cluttered now. Um, it's going to be so much easier to to scroll through. So, as I said before at the beginning, um, these uh, 
what was I, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. I may end up bringing some of those back. So, you know, if I'm doing another top 10 channels, if I'm doing, you know, whatever, or if I'm just personally speaking like, oh, you know what? I miss this or that or the other, then yeah, th some of them may come back. But for now, it's nice to just, just clean it out a little bit, right? So um, anyway, before we go, I will uh, I tell you one more time who won the, uh, the giveaway from last week. And I'll answer just a few more questions before we call it for today. Okay, so let, oh, let me uh, put myself back up here. In fact, let's, um, I, I know this camera quality isn't very good and I apologize for that, but uh, we work with what we've got. So last week, uh, just in case he's here now, the Eufy Cam 2 Pro was won by Joshua Sparkman. So Joshua Sparkman, if you haven't received an email from us yet, expect that very, very soon. And thank you for joining the giveaway. Uh, for the rest of you, make sure you click on the link in the description to go to the, the giveaways page. This week, it's another uh, home security item. It's the Blink Outdoor Cam. That's a $90 camera. This one is, uh, to, to be fair, it is gently used. This is Steve's review uh, unit. So he used this one to review his, uh, to, to, to do for our channel, to review it. Um, and so he'll send you that unit that he had. Hey, Joshua, I'm glad you're here. Oh, so great. Um, congratulations. It, you know, usually I when I announce these at the beginning, we only have a few people in the chat. And so, you know, the person isn't usually there. I announced you earlier. Now you're here. Um, I, I'm, I'm really glad to be able to say, you know, face to face, kind of. Congratulations. Really happy for you. That's fantastic. Um, and yeah, everybody else go enter the next one. Okay. So I apologize if I uh, missed some good questions earlier. If you had a really good question and you want to put it on here again so I can see it, that would that would be uh, absolutely appropriate. Um, okay, so <laughs> Matt Shaughnessy says must have taken five minutes to scroll to the bottom. Not quite, but it was it was tough to to know like to find what I was looking for sometimes. Um, let's see. Where can I, oh my gosh, I've got a secret. That's a great question. They sadly removed it from Prime. I don't know. You know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and find out. What do you say? Um, uh, I've got a secret um, stream. Can I, let's see. Well, it's still only listing it on Prime Video. So I'm not... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Sorry. That's a good question, though. Um, all right. So, search from the Roku main page. All right. Well, let's. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you can search shows, but let's find out. I guess you can. You can search movies. Why not shows? I've got a secret. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay. So we do have it here. Okay. So I've got a secret. It says it's still on Prime Video, included with subscription. So uh, you said it got removed, but um, let's see. Where, where did I, uh, yeah, let's put this up here. Uh, okay. Yeah, looks like you can still watch it. I've got a secret. If, uh, if you've never, if anybody watching has never watched this show, um, it's classic uh, American game show, and it really is a lot of fun. Uh, it's really fun to watch. Basically, somebody comes in, and, and uh, the, the panel, usually like a celebrity panel, tries to guess what this person's secret is. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Um, okay, where are we at? Um, all right. Screen. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, Alembic sixty-five. I'm I'm taking a stab at the name there. Um, says where to find replacement Roku or replacement remote for a Roku streaming stick. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. You can go directly to Roku.com, I think, and buy them. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I would just say hit up Amazon, and uh, you should be able to find a remote. Just make sure so you've. Uh, You've got the RC120, uh, you know, make sure it's compatible with that. And that's that's why I would probably first go to the go to Roku's official website um, and use that. 
but yeah, I have bought replacement remotes there before. Um, <laughs> how long did, we talked about this last week. I can't remember if you were there, uh, Matt. Okay, so how long did it take me to grow my hair out? Um, I have had a couple of trims, but uh, but generally speaking, I uh, haven't cut my hair since the pandemic started. Um, and so right right when lockdown happened in March last year, I had surgery on my nose and throat. Um, and because of the recovery, I couldn't shave. Um, and so the beard started, you know, it grew in over a couple of weeks. And after that, I was just like, no, nah, we'll just leave it. It's a little, it's a little sad as beards go, but Hey, it's, you know, it, it looks, it looks okay. Um, and then the haircut, I just, I, you know, I know I don't look as good with long hair, but I don't care. Cause I like it. Uh, so I feel more myself with, <laughs> with that. Although I will say the man bun, oh boy, I do have to put my hair up in a man bun every once in a while. That doesn't feel like me. <laughs> it's, but like when I go work out at the gym or something, uh, you know, it's got to go up in the man bun and uh, it's, it's a little embarrassing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Hot star is sensational in, in, in Indian. I, you know, I, I wish I, I wish I spoke more than just English and French. Um, okay. Oh, really? It says it's listed on Prime, but it says unavailable if you go on it. Oh, okay, that sucks. Oh, in India. Okay. Yeah, sensational in India. <laughs> I was like, I don't think Indian is the name of the language. <laughs> um, so let's see. Smash that, smash that, that's right. I haven't even done my YouTuber thing today. Smash that like button, subscribe, tell your friends, leave a comment, hey, hey. All right, have I shilled enough for today? Thank you, Matt, that's fantastic. Um, all right. Oh yeah, you know what, that's, that's a good call. Aaron Patton says, so of, uh, of that particular show, I've got a secret, select episodes are on YouTube as well. With a lot of those classic shows, you can find, if not very very long clips, then you can find entire episodes um, uh, on YouTube. So yeah, that's a good call. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, I'm, I know many of you are here on Facebook, um, but uh, for those on YouTube, hey, it's pretty great, right? Uh, let's see. Do you think Roku would ever add folders and sorting options to the channels menu? Oh boy, that's a great question. I hope they don't. Let me explain. <laughs> I need to sort through my own thoughts and feelings. And I reserve the right to change my mind, you know, maybe in a future video. That, oh, that would be a fun video. You know, uh, top five things Roku should impl implement right now. Um, it, so I, I reserve the right to change my mind on this. But my initial reaction is, no, I hope they don't do that. You can do that on Apple TV, uh, which is pretty cool. I do like their interface a lot. But... Once you get into folders, um, it's 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 hardly what I would call a power user move, but it is definitely like it's an extra step. It's an extra level of complexity when it comes to uh, an interface like this. And the the really beautiful thing about Roku is how simple it is. Um, and, you know, and I, we talked about interfaces a few weeks ago on this live stream. And so I won't reiterate the entire thing, uh, but I love, I just love how on my Roku, um, all right, I've got my menu options over here. And then uh, the ad, any ad that they have is all the way over on the right. And so I never have to, I don't have to click past it to get to anything. Um, and then the apps that you're gonna use, you know, whether it's the inputs, cause I've got a Roku TV or it's the, just the apps themselves. It's so, so easy. And so if somebody is a brand new cord cutter, you know, maybe they're slightly technologically challenged or whatever, um, you hardly have to explain anything. Um, so you don't have to explain how folders work or how, you know, somebody asked me earlier, how do I move an app? And it is good to know how you can move an app. You can move channels around, right? But you don't have to do that. If you never do that, that's okay. You just kind of get to know where your apps are and scroll down to them. So, so as far as adding folders and sorting options, it's, it, 
As a user myself, I think I would like it. And yet I hope they don't do it. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's see. Yep, this is cool. So uh, let's see, Angel says, you can use your phone to control your Roku to have, uh, you have to download an application, connect it to your network. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got on my phone here, the Roku app. And so, yeah, I can, I can essentially, I could lose this remote and still watch TV. I, I'm pretty sure I can power it on. I mean, I know I can use my, my Echo app to do it, um, to turn on the TV. And then, yeah, you can just use the app to do it. So that's pretty sweet. Um, oh, your great uncle was on it. Okay. Do, what, what was the secret? Let's see. Um, what, if any books am I reading currently? Um, I am currently reading a, uh, let's see, I'm reading a Discworld book from Terry Pratchett. Uh, and there's, there's a, a secret book. I can't, I can't tell you all the books I'm reading right now because I, I do run a, a book club podcast and somebody might be listening. And so there's a secret book that I'm reading that I'm going to do on that podcast. So I won't, I won't uh, mention the other one right now, but uh, yeah. Hi, hi, you know what? Good call. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> never owned a cell phone. That's impressive. All right. Uh, we'll go through a few more of these and then we'll wrap it up for today. Um, let's see. See, I, I don't know why, but these cord cutting streams have a lot of an older audience compared to other types of media. I, I don't know about, um, you know, everybody's age, uh, but I, I will say that our channel, generally speaking, does skew slightly older than most uh, YouTube channels. And that's simply because um, for younger, younger generations, not even mine, I'm talking younger than me like they're, they're, they're breastfed on technology, right? Like it's, it's in their, it's in their blood. Um, and so it's easy to get devices and services and understand how they work. But for people my age or my parents' age, um, it doesn't come as intuitively all the time. And so that's what our channel tries to do. Uh, you know, we're trying to, uh, to simplify technology and, you know, help people understand it to the point where, um, where it's actually helpful. So one of my one of my favorite, I, you know, I won't name which channel it is. One of my all time favorite YouTube channels is extremely techy. Um, I don't even use most of the tech that they're talking about, but they're so entertaining that I watch it anyway. But it's so esoteric, it's so technical that you all like your knowledge level has to be up here to even like start learning what they're talking about, and you know a lot of us are down here. And so that's, that's where we, we try to, to do our stuff. <laughs> so, um, okay. Did I hear the news? I have not heard this. Apple TV plus is looking to do a deal with NFL Sunday ticket. Well, that would be a coup if they could do that. Oh, let's see. Uh, Apple TV plus NFL Sunday ticket. Let's see. I had not heard this. They're in early talks about acquiring the rights to Sunday ticket games. Wow. So this just came out, it looks like, um, maybe earlier today. I had not heard this. Uh, that is very, very interesting. Thank you, Daniel, for bringing that to my attention. That's uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. Um, that's, that's really cool. Um, boy, would that... Would that even make sense? I mean, it makes sense you know, when you're just trying to get as many subscribers as you can, but uh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> my parents don't want to cut the cord because the channel numbers. Hey, you, you've been doing something the same way for 40 years. It's hard to give that up, right? 50 years, longer. Um, it's, it's learning a new system is tough. Man, and and um, I refuse to poo-poo anybody who um, who says, you know what, I, I I know what I like and I like what I know. That's that's okay. Eventually, I think um, everybody will have to and we'll have to adjust. 
uh, to the new reality, but as long as you don't have to, if you're willing to shell out for cable or satellite, totally fine. And I think there, I think there are in fact advantages to cable and satellite over, um, over cutting the cord. I just don't find them to be advantageous enough for me not to, to, uh, to uncut the cord, whatever. <laughs> um, am I watching the European football tournament? I am not. Um, Ricky said, although I, I kind of wish I were, but uh, I would have gotten in on it late. As long as I have red zone, I can live without Sunday ticket. Red zone drives me crazy. Um, it, I think it's really cool. And if you can wire your brain to love NFL red zone, great. And more power to you because it's super cool. But like when I say it drives me crazy, it's not because I think it's bad. It's like it literally drives me bananas to try to watch it. Like I can't get my brain to split to, you know, eight different football games. Um, my father-in-law loves to channel surf and he'll have like two or three games on and he'll just like, you know, recall, recall, go to this channel, go to that channel. And I'm like, can we just watch the game? <laughs> Everybody watches TV a little bit differently. Um, let's see. Can, can I suggest that we have mandatory cord cutting for the over 40s? No, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, here you go. William Max says, bottom line is I liked my money better than I like direct TV. You know what? That's a mic drop right there, William Mack. That's a mic drop moment. So we're going to call it there for today's live stream. My gosh, we've gone for well over an hour. Usually I aim for an hour. Today we went long. Uh, but thank you all very much for, for joining in on today's live stream. Make sure you go check out the giveaway. Uh, like I said, this week is a Blink outdoor cam. That's a $90 outdoor camera that can be yours for nothing. If you go, you know, possibly if you're, if you're chosen out of the, the raffle of, uh, of uh, entries on the giveaways page. So go check out the giveaways page. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next Friday. I'm going to be on the road again. Last week I was in Seattle. Next week I'm on the other coast. I'll be in Atlanta uh, next Friday. So I don't know what I'm going to be able to do as far as you know, technology and, and whatnot, what we're going to be able to do, but I will be here. Um, I'm going to take a break from the conference I'm attending and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll live stream with you fine folks. And uh, yeah, keep an eye on your channel feed so you can see the, um, uh, what the topic is going to be. We'll have that on there, uh, you know, a few days in advance, hopefully. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I, th I think we're good. So everybody have a great weekend. Be safe, be kind, and uh, I'll see you next.